day everyone so this is Richard again for another edition of learning with rich for today's lesson we are going to discuss about design options so design options can be found on your manage tab so you can see here your design options so according to the definition so you use the design options to explore alternative designs so each design option set contains one primary option and one or more secondary options. So with the design options, a team can develop, evaluate, and redesign building components and rooms within a single project file. So this is what we are going to use. So for this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create options for my roof. Okay, option for my roof. That's why you will notice that my current view right now is the highest level, which is the level 2. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to select the design options. Okay, and then from my design options dialog box, so I'm going to create an option set. So like what I have said, I'm going to create an options, a design option for my roof. So I'm going to select first the option set 1. And then I'm going to change this to roof. Okay, so I'm going to rename it to roofs. Okay, so this one, so roofs. And then, okay. All right. So after creating or renaming my first option here, uh, my first option set, so I'm going to select my first option and then I'm going to change the name. So for this one, I'm going to change the name to complex. And then I'm going to create another option. Because if you only have one option, then there's no point for you to use the design options. If you only have one option, then no need to use the design options. But since I'm creating uh, different options for my roof in one project, so I use the design option and then I create an option here. So I now have two options. And then before that, I'm going to rename this. Okay, so I'm going to rename that. Let's say I'm going to call this single ridge. And then okay. Okay, so after I create the two options for my option set roofs, I'm now going to select the first option and then I'm going to create or I'm going to start to create the first option, the complex roof. So all you have to do is to select the option that you want to create and then after that you select edit selected. Edit selected and then select close. Okay. So I'm going to create my first roof. So going to the architecture tab, I'm going to select here roof by footprint Okay, and then I'm going to hover my pointer until it highlights one wall and then press tab to highlight all the connection or chain of walls. So once you see that all the walls are highlighted, so you just need to click that. Okay, and then for this one, let's say for example, I want to design my roof. Okay, without the slope of these three lines here. So I'm going to select these three lines. Okay, so if you want to select multiple elements, you can click one element and then you hold the control and then you select the element that you want to add to the selection. Okay, and then I'm going to remove the slope here. So I'm just going to design this. So let's say I'm going to split the element. I'm going to split here. I'm going to split the line element. And modify, then let's say for this line, I want to define the slope. Alright, so this is now the design of my roof. The first option, my complex roof, and then I'm just going to finish it. Alright, so this is now the first option. So after you finish creating your the first option, so what you can do is you need to go back to the design options dialog box by selecting again the tool or you can also access this design option from your status bar. So it's the same. You can also click this. Okay, you can click that. There you go. So this is now again your design options. 
So what you can do to finish editing is just select this tool or select this option. Finish editing to finish the creation of your complex roof. So finish editing. Alright. So after that, this time, I'm going to select the single ridge, the second option. So I'm going to work on my second option now. So I select this and then edit selected, same procedure. Then after that, I select close. Okay, so I am now going to create the second option. This design for my second roof. So I am going back to architecture. So I'm going to select again roof by footprint. So let's say the design of the roof that I want here is just a simple one like this. Okay, so I just click the sides and then I just use trim extend to corner just to close my sketch my boundary and then modify and then I do not want to have a slope of these two lines here so I'm going to select it and then I'm going to uncheck define slope so after that I'll select check to finish it okay all right then I'm going to change my level 1 because I'm not yet done on my second option. So I select level 1 and then I'm going to, I'm going to create an instance of, the, of this group that was created for this exercise. So I just right click this and then I select create instance and then after that I'm going to place it here. There you go and then select modify. Now. If I'm going to select now the 3D tool here or the default 3D view, so you will notice that this is now my model, right? So this is now my, my second option. So again, just like what you did on your first option, to finish creating your second option is you just need to go back again to your uh, design options and then finish editing. Alright, so you will notice your roof will return back to your primary view, which is complex. So it's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two 3D view for our roof. Okay, because at the moment we only have one 3D view, which shows our complex roof. So it's okay. So I just, I just select finish editing and then close. Alright. Okay, so if I'm going to expand the 3D views here, I only have one 3D. So if I'm going to open this, okay, it will show my view here, right? So you can control the view. So let's say, oh, I want to see here my primary view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the visibility graphic override. So I'll type VV and then there's the design options. Take note that design options, you can only see the design options tab here if you have design options on your project. So if you don't have design options in your project, you'll not be able to see design options. Alright, so as you can see the setting here is set to single reach. So if you want to see the primary view, you can select primary view, the primary, the complex, and then OK. Alright. And then I'm going to create another 3D view. So, by the way, before I create the 3D view, I'll just rename this first. So, I right-click, rename. So, let's say this is my 3D complex. Okay? And then after that, I'm going to duplicate this. I want to create another 3D view, this time for my single ridge. So, right-click, duplicate duplicate with detailing all right so i'll just change the name right click rename okay for example this is my 3d single ridge and then okay but as you can see it still shows here my complex group it's because again for this view so we need to show the single ridge design option. So you just need to go back to your VV, to your visibility graphic overrides, design options, and just change this to single ridge. 
then OK. So you now have your 3D complex view and then your single ridge. So the only problem in this view is that you will notice my walls is not attached to my roof. So it's kind of funny because it's open here, right? So if I go to the 3D, 3D complex, you see it's open. So that is our next goal. So we are going to uh, include these walls to our design option. Okay, so we need to include these walls to our design option because we cannot just simply highlight the walls and then press tab, select it, and then you attach that. Okay, you cannot just simply do this. Why? It looks like okay here, right? But if you go to the, uh, to the single ridge, you will see that it's actually not okay, right? So that's not the way you do it. Okay, so I'm going to undo. So this is what we are going to do. Before you attach the walls to the roof, so what you can do is you need to select first the roof. Add, I mean the walls. You just highlight the walls and then click that to select. And then you go back to your Manage tab to select Design, uh, I mean the Add to Set. So this is what you are going to do. So we're going to move selected elements from the main model to one or more design options in a set. Okay, so we're going to add these walls to our design option. So you select add to set and then you can now see the add to design option set. So make sure complex option and single reach option is checked to add the walls to the design option. So, okay, and then after that I select okay. Alright, so we are now ready to attach our walls to the roof. To do that, you need to go back again to your design option. And then we are going to work on our, our current view is single ridge. So I select the single ridge. And then same procedure. You select edit selected and then close. Alright, so I'm going to move my pointer or hover my pointer to one of the walls. And then I'm going to press tab, click to select, and then I'm going to attach that walls to my roof. There you go. So it's now attached. So after that, same procedure, going back to design options. So I'm going to finish editing. This time, I'm now going to work on the complex primary view. And then edit selected, close. So I'm going to open my 3D complex view. And then I'm going to highlight again the wall and press tab, select, and then attach top base. Okay, so you attach top base and then click the roof. There you go. Okay, and don't, don't forget to finish editing. Okay, so finish editing. All right, so there you go. So you now have two options for your uh, roof in one project. Okay, you can type WT. WT stands for tile windows or you can go to the view tab and then you can select the tile windows here. Okay, and then if you want to zoom extends all your model to your viewport, to the viewport okay you can just type ZA or you can click this drop down arrow and then look for zoom to fit this is the zoom to fit okay just click this icon right so you may want to change the visual style to realistic you click here you can also change the view style to realistic Okay, and then close these two other views and then tile windows again. And then you can again select zoom out of it. There you go. So you now have two options in one project. So that's how you create design options in your project. In case you want to create or explore different uh, designs in your project, 
Okay. You can use the design option, which can be found on your Manage tab, Design Options panel, this one. Okay. Now, if you think this uh, video helps you in your project, why don't you just give me a like? And you can also subscribe to my channel. And hopefully, from uh, for next time, I'm going to show you another lesson that will help you to be more productive to your uh, Revit project. Until then, bye-bye.